What's up guys, welcome back to Clever Style. So as you guys know, we are all still in quarantine. A big bummer is like, I haven't been able to get my thrifting fix. You guys know I love to thrift. Madeline is like the thrifting goddess. So when I saw this at Goodwill, I was like, oh, that's freaking perfect. This was $13. I'm like overwhelmed. There's actually so much good stuff here. But what's really cool is that we just discovered this website called Thread Up. It's basically an online consignment store, which is so cool. So the difference in this video is that I am not going to be thrifting for me, but instead I'm gonna be thrifting for two of our favorite clever girls, Drew and Sinead. A while back, Madeline and I ambushed Lauren's closet and put together two brand new outfits using items from her own wardrobe, items that she was having trouble styling herself. So we set out on a mission to go shopping for her and put together two outfits each that I honestly think she really liked. This is a really good attempt, not quite there. So at this time, Sinead and I are going to pick out two items in our closets and then Madeline is going to go on thread up and slice and dice some outfits together for us. She gonna kill it. Wish me luck. I really want them to like me still. You go, Glenn Coco. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to have Madeline work her magic on are these beautiful jeans. When I first wore it, I did the whole matching denim situation. I had these pants on with a matching denim corset top and some matching uh, rhinestone sandal heels. And I love them. I just, honestly, I don't wear them that often just because the detail on them is just so busy. All right, so the first item that I would love to have Madeline style is this white dress. It is definitely on the more nighttime-y side, but I would love to be able to wear this dress like out and about during the day so that I can wear it more than just like once every few months I get the honor of going out. I actually have a lot of faith in her for this. Okay, my next item that I want Madeline to style is this floral skirt. The last time I wore it, I wore it with a mustard yellow turtleneck. I just, I want her to have her, meaning the skirt, to have a redemption round. She's just been laying so, oh so comfortably in my closet. And I feel like the other garments are teasing her. I like you just like those other garments. Don't let those, don't let those jeans bully you. Someone has been social distancing way too long. So I'd love to do something with this that is more on the colorful side, like heading into summer. So like, how can we make this like super summery and bright rather than how I usually wear it, which is like with like a t-shirt or something more on the tomboy edgier side. Honestly, Madeline, you're gonna crush it. You got this. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Just don't put me in anything pastel. Now to be totally honest, I'm super stressed and nervous. The girls are just so stylish on their own. Like they definitely don't need any help. Drew, I would say, has like a lot sexier of a style. She always is like a showstopper. She really knows how to dress for her body and I like respect that. And then we have Sinead who like totally knows her own style. She's like got this really cool sport look and like it's like trendy without being like too trendy and she's also like very specific so I feel like that's also gonna be like a little intimidating because I want to get her something that she's gonna really like all right guys I'm officially on thread up I have been sent the pieces from the girls I have this white dress from Sinead, which is like very sexy. She said she wanted to make it something like a little bit more daytime. My initial thought is something like a cool denim like jacket, maybe a black jacket. And she has this white denim skirt. And she was also saying she wanted to like just incorporate some more colors to go with these white pieces so that it's like more versatile. It doesn't have to just be like a nighttime thing. Then with Drew, for the jeans, she was saying she wanted to just like see how I would style it, I guess, because they are very like statement jeans. I really like how she did it with the denim bustier top. I feel like my go-to would be like a white tee. And then for the skirt, she said she wanted to do something kind of clueless vibe, which I love. Oh, as if. Okay, so let's try to start with Sinead. I'm gonna try to tackle this white dress because she was saying she wants to do something for the daytime. Okay, women, coats and jackets. Let's start there. Okay, interesting. So it's very, it is like very thrifty feeling because a lot of these jackets feel very old school. I wonder if there's a way to like narrow down the search. I wonder, let's search Levi's. Let's see, okay, you can narrow it down. So let's, we're gonna narrow the Levi's section down to coats and jackets. I'm just curious because Levi's is like a really nice brand. These all look like really old ja like style jackets though. 
Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a bomber. Okay, so this is interesting. It's a wool coat. Don't love it. I don't hate it. I literally own a jacket like this one. It's this like baseball jacket. I just think this style is really cute. It's very like baseball. It's got the white collar stripes and the white base. Okay, I mean that's like a good start just to, just to see what's out there. I know that she really likes like sporty looks so maybe I'm gonna just search Adidas or if you're Australian Adidas. Okay, so mainly with Adidas, it's like workout stuff, different like track jackets. I don't think I would pair any of that stuff with a track jacket. I'm also like trying to mutually shop for Drew while I do this. It's just like, this could take all day, I'm realizing. I gotta cancel some plans. <laughs> Okay, don't like anything I'm seeing so far. I'm really trying to be patient with this, so I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I'm gonna like really try to narrow in on some brands that are just kind of timeless. Looking through Urban Outfitters just to see if I can find anything for either of the girls. And also it's like another layer is picking something to go with the thing they sent me. I'll show you guys what I have so far. Okay, maybe, like maybe for Drew to go with like the jeans. I don't even really know how you wear it or like what it is, but I just think it's cute. I found this really cute um, pullover sweater from the brand Majorelle, which is like a really nice brand. I just think Drew would look really cute in it. It's cropped, um, so it would fit really nicely with those jeans. Those are cute jeans. Those are cute jeans. You're cute jeans. I've pretty much picked out what I'm gonna get for Sinead. I still think this jacket's cute. This is the short sleeve top that I think would be really cute with that white skirt. So I'm going to keep looking for some shoes. I have pretty much everything picked and I'm gonna send them over and I hope the girls really like them. <sighs> Not even religious. Several days later. All right, it's the moment of truth. Our pieces from ThreadUp have arrived. It's time to see how Madeline decided to style our outfits. I'm not gonna lie, the idea of putting on thrifted clothes during a pandemic is not exactly ideal, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so I'm in for first look. This black top I put with the skirt and have these black shoes and you got them in my clown size. Appreciate you, girl. Honestly, I really like this top more than I thought I would. Cause when I took it out, I was like, eh, I don't know how it's gonna fit, but it's cute. I just don't know if I would have picked it out per se. Oh my God, Madeline, I'm so sorry. I love you. I like this outfit, I swear. <laughs> I think it's styled super cute with the skirt and with the shoes. All right, so this is the first outfit. This is the white skirt that I had selected for Madeline to style. Um, and so she styled it with this black choker, like sweater, shirt top thing and these black booties. Now I love this outfit. I feel like this is an outfit I would totally wear. I just wish I would have seen a little bit more color or maybe something a little bit more Madeline. She's got a dope sense of style and it's very different to anything that the rest of us wear. So I do appreciate her kind of sticking to what she knows I love, black and white. Madeline, girl. You killed this look. Look how cute this little 90s, early 2000s sweater is with these boyfriend jeans. I am obsessed. Do you see my shoes? Can you, can you, can you? Oh, what do I get the camera? Overall, this is so cute. And I always had the hardest time styling these jeans just because like they're so busy. I don't know if you can guys see that the sweater Kind of has shimmer in it too. The colors go together so well. I love me some lavender. But I love it and I'm probably gonna wear it for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, next outfit is the white dress. Madeline paired it with this Levi's um, like kind of like starter varsity looking jacket. And also um, these black Steve Madden shoes. I respect a sneaker with the dress. Um, just because that's my style. And I love the jacket with this. I think this is the right way to wear this dress like during the day because it still has to be a little bit like on the nicer side. So I kind of like a little bit of an oversized jacket, a little bit of a tomboy feel to kind of like balance out the girliness of it. But I think it is a little bit different. It's got kind of like a vintagey feel. It kind of feels like Madeline a little bit and I really like that. But yeah, girl's got good style. She crushed it today and now it's time for us to show her our favorites. Bye. Bye. Hi, clever babes. So I already can see both of you wearing your cute little jacket, like jacket and top. You literally look like sporty spice and like baby spice right now. Aww. 
now announcing the Spice Girls. So my experience on Thread Up was very interesting and very, very different than the, the thrifting that I feel like we were all used to. And I felt like when I went on Thread Up, everything felt really, really dated and very like 2004. What'd you like? What'd you hate? Okay, I'm gonna go just cause I can take this jacket off cause I'm, it's like a <laughs> thousand degrees in this house. Okay, so honestly, like, I feel like you did a really good job overall. I feel like you nailed my style. Like you really did get yes. my style. I only wish you would have just done a little bit of your style, like just a little bit more because I felt, I feel like you have a really cool and unique style. But yeah, no, I think you did a really good job. Everything felt like me and I was not like, I wasn't shocked by anything, which was kind of nice, you know? Cause you never know when things arrive at your house. Like even when you online shop, it's like really tough to tell in advance. Shopping for other people is just really stressful. Mm -hmm. Wait, but for me, it'll be my turn. So I'm wearing my favorite one. It's this crop sweater with the with the pants. Yes. And like this is this you hit the nail on the head with this one, Milo. Like I really f with this. And when I first took it out of the package, I was like, uh, I don't know. But then I saw like it has these little sparklies in it. Oh, that's cute. And like my whole thing with these jeans is like I wanted to do like a early two thousands look. And I was like, she's gonna kill this because you already just, you just live in the early 2000s. <laughs> so I, this is, I absolutely love the sweater with the pants. The only thing I wasn't crazy about with the shoes, but like other than that, I love this look. And I think if anything, I'm just excited that I walked through with this jacket because I feel like I can wear it with pretty much everything in my closet. So overall, it's a win for me. Going into the wild, it was definitely a unique, experience but I really do like how that crop sweater looks on you and I the funny thing is I own something like that sweater and I own something like the jacket that I got Sinead. <laughs> I think like a I just like this experience because it I didn't know that you could shop online for thrifted stuff but like I don't know if I'll do it in the future. <laughs> you know, like, I, still, I still have like my issues just like germaphobe situation. So overall it was a very cool like learning experience for me. I feel like the more times I get to shop for the girls like the more I'm really getting used to like everyone's style and what for but at the same time like knowing that they want me to incorporate more of my aesthetic and feel and favorite things is like really promising so I'm excited for future shopping things because I just feel like now I have more of an idea. Overall Madeline, I think you crushed it. Madeline, I give you a chef kiss. Mwah! You killed it. You made me into the, the 2000s, 90s Barbie I've always wanted to be. And uh, I just, I feel like you should trust your gut all the time because you hit the nail on the head. You hit the ball out of the park. You hit the pancake in the pan, you know? You just killed it, girl. <laughs> I was like, how many more she got?